Hey, all right, and welcome back to another video of the Corvette cleanup and restoration. Um, I'm restoring it insofar as I can just reliably drive it and enjoy it, mostly, but I am going to make it pretty sweet, of course. I'm not doing a frame off, but whilst in the interior, what I did was pull this side of the dash out, and I'm getting ready to pull the center console out too, so I can take it apart and clean it and fix a clock and some things like that. But I'm also preparing to remove um, that this thing right here, uh, because that is part of the air conditioning and heating stuff. It's actually the heater core behind there. And I'm going to be replacing all of that with a brand new air conditioning system from Vintage Air. But while I pulled this up, I, I got this waft of incredibly noxious fucking stench. Ugh, pardon my French, but it is bad. Why? Well, if you can look at that, you can see why. At some point, mice or rats or something was living in here getting up under there and uh, shitting and pissing everywhere. I hate those things because I've had rats in my vehicles uh, not long ago. This is definitely not fresh. This was here long before I bought this car. So um, unfortunately, they have made this really, really rancid under there. So um, I'm in the process of pulling off these parts. Uh, that's that center console part. And all these dash pieces, you can see how nasty they are. They've never been cleaned, probably. Um, so the goal is to get them all nice and clean and get this uh, dash and everything ready for some fresh air conditioning parts. Plus, uh, now I know why the car had a kind of a funk to it. There's some uh, of men's cologne, I think is what I'm smelling, but uh, there's also that, but man, this is bad. I'm going to probably, I ought to roll the windows down or something. I need to get my vacuum out here and get rid of that. But the problem is, is that then it kind of ruins my vacuum cleaner. So I don't know what to do right now. So I'll just leave it for now until I figure out what to do. So that's where I'm at on this. That side's going to be kind of a pain to tear apart because I have to drop the steering column down. But that's no big deal. So I'm combining that side probably with uh, the steering column rag joint, which is like a universal joint, but it's actually a flexible rubber kind of thing. It's pretty cool. I'll have a video on that too at some point. But uh, what makes getting the center section here this piece, I don't know if you can see that, it's all one piece. I gotta be careful because these break real easy right here. So I definitely don't wanna bust it. But it's bolted with two bolts right here to the bottom part. So I gotta go find out how you're supposed to take that apart without ruining it. Um, but anyways, that's where I am on the Corvette. So it is hot out here, it's probably 110 so. And it's humid, and I am sweating myself off. And there's my little buddy right over there. She's doing better. So she's so cute. All right, I'm gonna go in and get cool and work on cleaning parts. Yay, that's fun.